Let's be honest for a second. The idea of working more sounds, well, exhausting. <laughs> but making extra money on your terms, that does sound like a dream. I mean, who wouldn't want a little extra cash to cover the essentials, you know, like rent or more importantly, pizza. <laughs> but finding the time to actually make that extra money, well, that's the tricky part. So in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down side hustles that you can start no matter how old you are or how much free time you do or don't have. Side hustles aren't about quitting your day job or becoming the next billionaire overnight. Although that would be nice, right? They are about finding small, manageable ways to earn extra income that actually can fit into your life, whether you're saving for that next big goal or you're padding your retirement fund or I don't know, you just want to treat yourself to something fun. Well, these side hustles need to be able to help you get there, right? And by the time this video ends, hopefully you'll have 14 ways to make extra money that actually fit into your life, no matter where you are and no matter whether you're a student looking to fund your pizza habit, as I said, you're a parent squeezing in a few hours between school drop-offs, or maybe you're someone enjoying retirement and wanting a little extra cushion. There is definitely something in here for you. All right, so let's kick things off with the youngest hustlers, our go-getter teenagers. Remember when being a teenager meant mowing lawns or babysitting for extra cash? Well, maybe you don't, but probably your parents do. <laughs> well, those times have definitely changed and so have the opportunities, clearly. If you've got an eye for design or you're the one in the class that's always doodling on the side of your books and notebooks, then there is absolutely no reason why you can't turn those skills into extra income. So let's talk about freelance design and illustration because platforms like Fiverr and Upwork and so many others make it possible for you to offer services like freelance design. So basically what I'm trying to say is that if you can do better than that guy sitting next to you in math class, then you can probably make a few bucks designing logos and creating illustrations or even making small edits and tweaks to visuals that your clients all over the world are looking to get support with. I mean, my son is not yet a teenager, but if I know you well enough, you're already spending probably hours staring at your computer screen, right? So why not get paid for it? Plus, no one's going to care if you're wearing your pajama pants while you work. Trust me. So start by creating a portfolio that showcases your best work. And I know I know what you're going to say. You don't have much to show, right? Well, no problem. You can create some spec pieces or offer your services to local businesses for a discounted rate so that you can build your portfolio. And not only that, but your first few gigs, even though they might not pay much, they're invaluable for gaining experience and reviews. And my pro tip to you is that you can use your social media as your portfolio. So platforms like Instagram and TikTok are literally free ways to showcase your work and get noticed by potential clients. So you can start building your brand now and who knows, you can turn that into a full-time gig down the road, most likely. And now for something every teen dreams about, you can get paid to play video games. I know. My son is just as excited as you are. And yeah, it is a real thing. Game testing is booming and companies like Mistplay and Swagbox are paying for feedback on their newest releases. So just imagine for a second telling your parents that all those hours of gaming weren't a waste of time after all. Take that mom and dad. <laughs> I can already hear my son saying that. But don't stop at game testing. Why not stream your gameplay on Twitch or YouTube games? Because gamers are making serious money by building a community and sharing their gaming skills. And who knows, you could be next. And finally, for the teens who are crushing their classes, why not get paid to help others do the exact same thing. You could also try online tutoring. This is what I'm trying to say. Because, you know, you probably remember that subject that you aced in school, right? Well, there's probably someone out there that's struggling with that same topic right now, and they'd be willing to pay for your expertise, believe me. I mean, there's lots of websites, and I've made lots of videos on this topic, but you could go to the tutor.me, you can go to Schooly, and you can specialize in anything from basic math to SAT prep and everything in between. And I think the best part is that you are going to reinforce your own knowledge and gaining valuable teaching experience. By the way, I want to hear from you. Which side hustle are you most pumped to try? Drop it in the comments. And if you are already started a side hustle and you've got that going maybe for some time, then share your experience so we can all learn and level up together. All right, next up, it's time to talk to my Gen Z hustlers and young adults. Maybe you're in college or maybe you're trying to juggle classes and work or maybe you're out in the real world figuring out this wild thing called adulting. 
<laughs> Either way, I get it. You're thinking, where am I supposed to find the time to start a side hustle? But I have a little secret for you. You're probably already doing things that could be making you money. Because let's be real. How much time are you spending on social media? Don't answer that. I already know way too much probably like everybody does right but did you know that you could actually get paid for it because small businesses are desperate for someone who knows their way around platforms like instagram or tiktok without accidentally i don't know posting a blurry photo of their lunch <laughs> you'd be surprised there's lots and lots of small businesses doing that so social media management is where you can shine whether it's helping a i don't know local bakery or a small clothing brand manage their accounts you can also track trends or even edit videos then there's also photography and videography especially now skilled photographers and videographers are in super high demand with all this demand for social media and sure you can do anything from weddings to product shoots there is no shortage of opportunities, but I think where you can really make your mark is by focusing on creating content specifically for social media, since businesses need eye-catching visuals for their Instagram feeds, for their TikTok videos, for their YouTube channels, you name it. So by specializing in this niche, you become basically a visual storyteller. So something like a modern day Picasso for a perfectly curated Instagram grid. But here's one where I believe you can really shine. And by the way, if you do do this, let me know in the comments, reach out to me because I'm looking for people who do this. And that is basically becoming a trends watcher. So literally companies would pay you to watch TikTok every day. Right now, businesses are desperate for someone who can keep them relevant. Someone who can study trending hashtags, viral challenges and emerging formats and then offer those services as a TikTok video editor or just a trends consultant. Your entire job description would be predicting what will be hot before it even starts simmering, basically. Now think about it. If you're already on TikTok 24 seven, why not get paid to use your knowledge to help brands blow up? I mean, it's pretty obvious, right? So now I wanna hear from you. Which platforms are you on the most? Is it Instagram, TikTok, YouTube? Let me know in the comments. And as I said, if you're already helping businesses with their social media, drop tips for the rest of us. So now let's talk to my fellow millennials. You might be feeling like the side hustle ship has sailed for you when you traded in the late night study sessions for the toddler tantrums. But trust me, it hasn't. Been there, done that, as they say. And in fact, millennials are the generation most likely to have a side hustle. Why? Because we've been navigating an economy full of student loan debts and raising cost of living and the good old hustle culture that encourages having multiple streams of income. You're not just looking for extra cash. I know I am one of you. You're looking to create financial security, working towards your goals and maybe even starting a business on the side. So let's talk about something unique that you might not have considered Airbnb. But before you start judging, I am not talking about renting out a spare room. I'm talking about Airbnb experiences. Yep, it's a real thing and they're amazing. So basically what this means is that you could host anything from a hiking tour to a cooking class or even a haunted history walk. I don't know. Seriously, people are willing to pay for unique local experiences. So if you love hiking, then offer guided tours in your area. Or if you know the best food spots, then you could run a local food tour. If you've got a talent for storytelling, people will pay for that too. So imagine creating a memorable adventure for someone while earning cash at the same time. You're already good at hurting kids or managing the household, I'm presuming. So think of hosting experiences as just another day keeping the chaos organized. Except this time, there's money involved. And an idea is that you don't stop there. You can create a memorable adventure. You can stock your space with, I don't know, local treats, or you can create a guidebook of hidden gems in your area, or you can offer personalized experiences that guests can't get anywhere else. That's how you turn your side hustle into repeat business. But look, if the thought of having strangers in your space gives you the chills, then let's talk about e-commerce. Because you can set up a dropshipping or online store through platforms like Shopify or WooCommerce. And the beauty of dropshipping is that you don't need to store any products in your garage next to that treadmill that swore that you'd use. <laughs> so just set up the shop, choose a product, and let suppliers do the heavy lifting. So whether it's, I don't know, niche clothing or gadgets or unique household items, this can turn into a consistent stream of income. You're basically having your cake and eating it too. Now, here's a reality check. It is not just about setting up the store or the listing or for your tour or experience on Airbnb. To really succeed, you do need to understand at least a little bit of marketing, a bit of SEO, a bit of social media, a bit of email marketing. All these elements play a really important role in driving traffic and building a customer base. And if it sounds overwhelming, don't worry, because with some focus and patience, you can learn these skills over time and turn your side hustle into a primary source of income. 
Now, obviously, there's also blogging and vlogging where you can share your stories. So whether it's about parenting or career advice or travel tips, there is an audience out there who's waiting to hear from you. So you can engage with your readers, respond to comments, and create a space where people feel heard and understood. Or you can even try podcasting if you're passionate about a particular topic and you really want to go deep. So why not share it with the world? Because with minimal equipment, then you're able to start and podcasting can be a low cost way to build an audience and potentially even earn money through sponsorships or listener donations. By the way, if you want to learn more about how to monetize a podcast, I do have a video that I made a while back. So go check that out. But not yet, because I have another really interesting category. Let's talk about our seniors and retirees. Because you've spent years, maybe decades, building expertise, and now it's time to leverage that hard-earned knowledge for extra income. But the best part? You don't have to take on a full-time job or commit to a rigid schedule. You set the pace. And I think one powerful side hustle for retirees is consulting, honestly. Because think about it, companies, both big and small, they pay top dollar for advice that can prevent costly mistakes. Your industry knowledge is invaluable, whether you've spent a career in finance or engineering or education or anything else. Consulting allows you to offer advice without committing to a full-time job. You basically set your own hours and rates, all the while helping businesses solve problems that they can't tackle on their own. But listen, if consulting isn't your style, then maybe online course creation might be because platforms like Skillshare and Udemy or even Teachable allow you to turn your knowledge into a digital product. So you could teach anything from, I don't know, knitting to business strategies to photography. And once it's created, you've got yourself a source of passive income because you put in the work once and it keeps bringing in money while you sleep. And I don't know if you're handy with arts and crafts, then you could also be creating handmade items and selling them on platforms like Etsy. This is particularly popular with retirees who have time on their hands and really enjoy creating beautiful things. I mean, the joy of seeing someone buy something that you've crafted with your own hands is I think both fulfilling and financially rewarding, let's be honest. So share the inspiration behind each piece, the techniques you use and the love that you pour into your craft. And also for seniors with extra space, there's the option of renting that out. It could be that spare room that you have, a garage, or even a parking spot. Because platforms like Neighbor, for example, or Just Park are gonna allow you to rent out just the storage space or your parking spot. Literally all you gotta do is simply have to make your space easily accessible, ensure it's clean and secure, and always communicate clearly with your renters. Almost like real estate, but without the headache of actually buying and selling properties, I guess. So look, with all these options, where do you begin? Well, the most successful side hustlers don't just pick a side hustle and run with it. They start with self-reflection. So I suggest you ask yourself, what are your passions? What are your skills that you already have? What are the resources that are available to you? And the sweet spot is usually somewhere where all of these intersect. And of course, the best side hustle is the one that you actually start. (laughs) So don't let perfectionism or fear hold you back. Start small, learn as you go, and be willing to learn and change and pivot if something isn't working. I mean, look, even Jeff Bezos started Amazon in his garage, (laughs) right? And look where he is now. I mean, the only question left for you is, when is now a good time? All right, you guys, that was it for today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Like this video if you did. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so. Share this with a friend, no matter their age. And until next time, I suggest you go ahead and watch this video over here. I'll see you soon. Bye.